Hello and welcome to Awaken the Truth Within with Zoe Gold. I haven't done any recordings for this podcast for a couple of months now. This was time of reflection, of um, taking it in, of going even deeper uh, in understanding of the world, the truth, the beauty, and what's real. So that's why um, there was kind of like a break in between uh, new episodes, because I don't do this podcast as a tool of advertisement where you have to uh, record three, five, ten podcasts a week in order to keep people busy and interested. I recorded because I want to bring real, true value to you. And um, sometimes you just need to step back and observe and take it in before you share it. But again, this is just my approach. So today I wanted to talk to you about something that recently came up in one of my um, conversations is changing the world. (laughs) If you look at the bigger picture, uh, well-being is the basis of this world and all is well. If you look at really the big, big picture. If you zoom in and look at particular aspects of this beautiful game that we call physical life, this beautiful, beautiful game and gift, then in my belief and perspective, it's the change of one person at a time. If a person really wants it, chooses to do so because every person has their own journey and it is their journey, right? You have your own journey. So if if a person chooses and wants, the person can release the errors, can tap into the real within him or her, tap into the divine truth and wisdom within him or her. And unfold the real. And yes, sometimes it takes time and practice and desire and determination to release those errors that create turmoil. First, internal turmoil, and then that internal turmoil comes out as an external turmoil. So if each person who chooses to do so and who wants to do so without any imposition of my opinion on how others should do it, just for yourself, chooses to go to that real, to that essence, to that core, to the creator in you, to that connection and alignment and I am oneness with source of everything there is, And restores that harmony that is natural to you, that is your, uh, in, that is inherent to you, that is who you truly are. Harmony within you, and you do that by releasing the errors. And there are many, um, um, you know, worldly titles for errors, beliefs, false beliefs, limitations, um, patterns, etc. Errors. When you don't operate, when your perspective is distorted and aberrated because of physical senses that suggest otherwise or contrary to the truth, because maybe you've seen it with other people or you you learn from their errors. It doesn't matter why. So these errors create this disharmony in your life, internal and external. And when you release them and when you come back to the truth, 
to the divine truth, to the real within you, to who you truly are and to the source, to the creator of everything there is, to that I am oneness, then you're truly free inside and out. Then you can truly create. Because coming back to this topic of creation, you can be in any given moment of time and overall, you can be ruled by errors. And these errors will, in one way or the other, manifest in physical reality as challenges, problems, uh, sicknesses, difficulties, turmoil. Or you can come from the real, from the truth, from the divine mind, from who you truly are. And that will create harmony. That, that is harmony. Harmony is your natural state. That is love from the capital letter, the eternal, infinite love. And then you create. So you can call it like, <clears throat> for example, operating from human mind. And there is no divisions in mind. There is only one mind. But for the sake of explanation, you can look at it as the human mind. Errors, basically, false beliefs and all that stuff, inner conflicts, errors. And you can look at it as, as we talked about just now, human mind and a divine mind. Pure, eternal love and harmony that comes from, that is, This, that comes from this I am oneness, that um, is this infinite, um, eternal love, the source of everything. And there are no even um, worldly words that can describe that um, infinite intelligence, God. It doesn't matter what title you give to it. That infinite, vast presence, that almighty, the divine mind. And now what happens is a person operates from these errors, from this human mind, most of the time, because there are always glimpses of light here and there. It never leaves you. It's always there, but you can cloud it with these errors. So what happens is that person operates from this uh, human mind and then reads a book that my mind is powerful, that I can create anything, which is to some extent is true. But it also depends how you understand it, how deeply you understand it, and how much truth uh, you pick up from that knowledge and how much of the truth the teacher also conveys because this um, mingle and mixture of these errors and truth are everywhere. But the thing is that error is an illusion. It's false. And truth is real. And who you truly are is real. And that's why um, spirit is superior to matter and superior to the physical universe. So anyways, coming back to what I started with, uh, if, for example, the person operates most of the time or a lot from errors and then reads these books about law of attraction and the power of the mind and tries to create with this human mind, with this mind full of errors and wonders why nothing happens or why it's still really difficult or why he or she cannot break through. You cannot break through with the same patterns that created the problem. You cannot really create with something that is 
truly an illusion, which is the human mind and errors. But at the same time, if you really tap into who you truly are, if you really connect, reconnect, allow, open up, because it's always in you, to that light, to that light of eternity, infinity, to that light of the true source and creator of everything, to the divine mind. And when you align with that, with that source, you are who you truly are then. And you truly create because you create from the substance that creates everything. And that is the real creation. That is creation that moves the hearts, that you can pick up and feel in every song that was created from inspiration. That creation creates beauty because it can create only beauty. You can create only good because you're part of that. The bad stuff, or what we call the bad stuff in this physical universe, comes from error. Every person is inherently good, and they do the best they can from the data they have, from the perspective they have, from the errors that they have. But errors are not them. They are not you. They are not real. Who they truly are is real and they can come back to that. So can you. Your mind is not you. I'm talking about the human mind. Your beliefs are not you. Your body is not you. Even your feelings are not you. They are, you know, like a GPS that shows you the quality of your thought at the moment that, that you, can, you can guide yourself either to alignment or away from what you want. So they kind of show you where you are, but they are not you. You're bigger than that. Your true being, your core, your essence is always okay, is always fine, is always at peace is always at harmony. It's so big, it can fill the room. You're part of this, of this, of, of, of the whole. That's who you truly are. You are a spiritual being and you are superior to matter. You are superior to physical universe um, facts and challenges and problems. So that's what I meant in the beginning when I said it starts with one person at a time if they decide to do so, if they choose, because it's not about force and courage and where you have to do what I say, otherwise I will feel bad, <laughs> right? As it has um, been done many times. But starting with you, because you want it. Because you chose to do so. And connecting to the real in you and to the real creation. And from that, from that I am oneness, from the true creator of everything, the beauty is created, the freedom is created. And it is done in love and harmony. So I hope this was helpful for you today. Have an amazing day. And I will talk to you in our next podcast. Bye now.